Hello everyone. Welcome to Do Electronics Do Embedded. Uh, in this project, we will be printing Hello World on Neos 2 console using Neos 2 processor. This project will be basically focusing on system level integration using the tool QSIS. Let's start with the project. So this is our quarters. We will be starting from scratch with creation of new project. Let's create a new project. So this is our project directory which is empty now. So we will give this project directory as the target directory for this project. Here is the project name. So for now let's give project hello world. And this is the top level design entity of your project. So in our case, we'll be integrating our system in QSIS and we'll be generating the system in QSIS and we'll be using that system as the top level system. So to avoid confusion, we'll name it, name it as project QSIS and the same name will be given to the QSIS project. So this will be the name of the top level design file that will be generated by QSIS. Let's select our target FPGA. So our project is created. Let's go to QSS. This is our QSS. So in our QSS system, the very first component will be importing as the NEOS2 processor. So here is the NEOS2 processor. In this project, we'll be using the economical version. This is standard, this is fast. Uh, and apart from NEOS2 processor, we'll be using some on chip memory. So current size is defined as 4KB, which is good for now. And we'll use JTAG UART port. Now you can see some bunch of errors down there. So those are because we haven't established the connection yet and also didn't configure the Neos2 processor. Let's first establish the connection. So this is our clock. So clock will go to Neos2 processor same clock will go to on chip memory and to the JTAG UART port again the system reset will go to NEOS2 processor on chip memory JTAG UART this is the data master and instruction master bus so data master and instruction master both will go to on chip memory because the instructions will be fetched from on chip memory and only the data master will go to the JTAG UART we need to configure the NEOS2 we need to assign the boot memory for that so reset vector will be assigned to on chip memory also the exception vector will be assigned to on chip memory now you can see there are conflicts in the base address they have a common base address which is not allowed by QSIS so either we can change them manually or we can just do assign base address so all the base addresses are assigned by QSIS itself So this is a QC system. Let's save the system. If you remember the name we gave in the start for our top level design entity, this name should be same. So 
system is saved let's generate the system System is generated successfully. Let's go back to quarters. So this is our top level design entity, project underscore QCIS, which we declared initially, and also we give the same name to our QCIS system. So right now there are no files included in our quarters project. Let's include the files generated by QCIS. So it is a QIP file. Add it to system. Let's analyze and synthesize our system. Analysis and synthesis is necessary to find out what all pins are to be assigned and what all pins are unassigned and Basically, this will help you for the assignment editor. So it's successful. Let's go to assignment editor. This is our QC system. We need to find the unassigned pins, pins unassigned list. So this is the pin which is present in our system and it is not assigned it says you it is unassigned let's include this pin and assign it as we are working on d1 board the clock is presented pin l1 let's save it and compile our project By the time project is compiling, we can start with NEOS2. So as you guys have seen, we have imported NEOS2 processor on our system. And to make it work, we need to program the NEOS2 processor. So here we'll be doing a very small C coding. Basically, it's a template to print Hello World on NEOS2 console. So we'll go to Tools, NEOS2 Software Build Tools for Eclipse. As you can see, compilation is also successful. And as a workspace, in the initial, we created a folder for this project. Let's set that folder as the working directory for Eclipse. This was that folder. So this is NEOS2 software build tools for Eclipse. Let's create an application for our NEOS2 processor. Go to new NEOS2 application and BSP from template. When you generate the QC system, it gives you a .sopc info file, which contains your all the hardware details. So let's include that .sopc info file in this application.
as we have only one processor in our system you can see there is only one name in the drop down list which is same as the name of the processor present in our QSIS which is this one let's give this project name as project neos and we'll be selecting a small template of hello world let's finish it it will create the project along with all the board support package libraries okay so the project is created this is your application folder and this is the board support package folder in application folder you have the C file which has a small C code for to print hello world hello from news 2 let's make it hello world let's build the project okay the build is finished successfully let's connect our board to a pc Let's program the .sof file onto our board which is a configuration file generated by Quartus. This is an output files folder. Okay, so it is successful. Let's save the .cdf file. The configuration file is already built into the FPGA. Now we need to run our application. We can make our application run as news to hardware. So here we need to refresh our connection with the board Go to target connection make it refresh connection so the USB blaster is detected Just ignore the system ID and timestamp for now apply the settings And you can see hello world here. Thank you guys for following videos from Duo Electronics Do Embedded. 
keep following us for more upcoming and interesting videos thank you